Hi friends, my name is host Eric. I'm the host of Talking with Fence People. And this morning I'd like to talk about your feelings. If you're like me, you probably experience some emotions sometimes. And you've often wondered, why do I have these things? What good are they? How can I get rid of them? And other such thoughts. Well, good news. I've got the answer for you. The actual truth of the matter is you need your feelings. They're important and you can't get rid of them entirely. And if you do, you'll be sad that you did. Why? Because without emotions, we are unable to experience the weight of our actions correctly. The experience of negative emotions in particular is the driving force behind harm prevention. So, for example, my dog Lacey died is one of the most emotional events that I've experienced recently and probably been in my whole life. She was it was really the first time that I experienced the death of a close loved one that I really felt in all of its weight. I did have a grandfather die when I was like in fifth grade. I wasn't really capable of processing that at the time. So, um, introverted feeling. This morning I spent some time trying to experience my feelings, to sit in them to know them uh, a little bit better. I'm not somebody who naturally understands his own feelings well. I don't know if you are familiar with cognitive function model or not. As a viewer, if you are, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, great. If you're somebody who just happens upon this video, great. Basically, it says that people experience life through a variety of manners of attention, and one of them includes introverted feeling, which is a way to value things and events and experiences in our lives that is non-rational. So an attachment to an object because you've grown fond of it, uh, even though it rationally has no use, is an example of introverted feeling. Uh, for example, <laughs> smart hands here. I'm really quite fond of sport hands, and uh, I he does have some use, but that's not why I'm fond of him, right? He's a character in my universe. He's a he's a guy that says stuff periodically. He gives fist bump. Hey, you want fist bump? If you're feeling blue, you know what helps? Fist bump. Oh yeah, fist bump. So he gives fist bumps to people who are feeling blue. Helps them feel better. He's in an ongoing battle with my friend, uh, Shirtless Woodman, who got fist bumped in the face and took an exception to it. But Shirtless is outside right now, so I don't want to go get him. Anyhow, uh, FI, right, introverted feelings. According to this model, my personality type is one that experiences feelings very distantly, if at all, and is... A type that has trouble interpreting what their emotions are telling them and how to act in accordance with those emotional cues and ultimately that's what emotions do is they tell us this is important and we learn that lesson well when we experience seriously negative emotions um, the response to that experience is varied but and it's going to depend on how highly we value feelings among other things and that's really what we're talking about when we're discussing the difference between thinking and feeling we're talking about how highly we value one manner of attention in making decisions and or evaluating decisions and or uh, assessing it, it, it's it's what are we going to pay attention to when we're looking at this field of stuff is it the golden nuggets? Is it the trees? Is it the um, the way the birds are singing? Is it the change of temperature over time? You can imagine the different ways in which you can pay attention to a physical environment. That's true as well for an environment that is comprised of agents. In other words, other human beings, the stories and narratives that comprise them and that they, and that they tell to uh, others. Those narratives... Uh, and connections that we make with other people, the stories that we build over time, make up our identity. And the interplay between identities 
is ultimately the material out of which each individual identity is constructed. So an important part of that overall fabric is going to be introverted feelings. The way that you naturally feel about things, whether or not it's fair or reasonable or rational or anything else. And there's a legitimacy to the weight that you put into things implicit to being an individual being with distinct interests in the world. So the death of my little dog Lacey may not have gotten many people upset outside of my immediate family. Uh, there are certainly expressions of empathetic compassion from others towards me about the loss of the dog. Everybody knew how important that dog was to me. And for a week after she died, I mourned and I experienced really sad introverted feelings. I, I changed my behavior substantially. I became much more orderly and organized and wanting to attend to stuff that was going to help me feel more back on track, help me feel more whole as a being. And I did for about a week and then I put it away because there's not much else you can do. But I have a picture of her right there. And she's there's also a picture of her on the TWFP Raw channel as a channel art. She was a very special dog. So This morning when I determined that it was significant for me to spend some time in my introverted feelings, that's the first feeling that comes to mind. And I spent some time in it and it was awful. <laughs> you know, it's fucking, it's awful. So what's the purpose of that? Well, it's definitely harm prevention. I still have one cat left. I've had two dogs die in the last couple of months after never having an animal die for a long time, you know? So that's been pretty, uh, pretty brutal. Um, but it's taught me to be cautious about things. Like, both those dogs, I think, I got hit by cars. I'm not exactly sure what happened to Compton because I wasn't here. I was out of town. But Lacey got hit by a car, and she had, I guess, gotten lucky for 15 years. Uh, and it, nothing changed. I didn't do anything different. She was out and about like she always was. She, but it, what had changed was she had changed. She wasn't as sharp. She wasn't as... Um, sharp with the senses her eyes were going bad her ears weren't as good and so anyway that's introverted feeling though right I'm not going to be able to do anything about the past but I mean there's nothing I can do to be careful with the cat exactly but I am much more inclined towards a harm prevention attitude now I'm hesitant to get another dog until I have the right kind of setup I don't want to have them cooped up in a small space, and I also don't want them to get hit by a car. So, that's introverted feeling in a nutshell. Um, are there positives to it, to it as well? Of course. You know, the most commonly experienced positive emotion I feel is laughing. And I don't know if there's another word for it besides laughing. Mirth? Good cheer? <laughs> um, a state of visible expression, expression of risibility, whatever you want to call it, I am frequently experiencing laughter. And it's one of my favorite emotions. And it's one of the good things about FI. It makes me value and prioritize good cheer in general and discourse and conversation and stuff like that. So that's Eric's treatise on introverted feeling. And you don't want to get rid of it. You do want to give it its due. You don't, you shouldn't listen to it when it's telling you what to do if you're irrational. If you put T first, put T first. But you need to pause and let it, let it pass by noting its size and scope and knowing that if shit goes bad in certain ways, you're going to have to cope with that and it's going to be awful. You know, so it's, it's all about in my, now I know that there are other uses for introverted feeling. Megabro has a whole system set up that explains this. And I don't even remember what they are for introverted feeling, but I believe I got that dimension down. Harm prevention. I got that one down. That's one of the impacts of emotions is to make you prevent harm. And probably to seek out good cheer. I don't know. Have a pleasant day. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. And those feelings of yours, they're full of moisture, but it doesn't mean they're absolutely worthless, okay? Remember that.